on the application of differential equations, you're going to work on Newton's law of cooling and warming. If T of T represents the temperature of a body at time T, and T sub M is the temperature of the surrounding medium or the ambient temperature, then the rate of change of the temperature with respect to time follows Newton's law of cooling warming. It can be written as dt over dt, or the rate of change of the temperature with respect to time, is proportional to the difference between the temperature of the body and the ambient temperature. So remember that k is called the constant of proportionality, and in solving differential equation problems, our goal is to identify what k is. In this question, we have the following scenario. When a cake is removed from an oven, its temperature is measured as 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Three minutes later, its temperature drops to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the question says, how long will it take for the temperature to cool off to the room temperature, which is 70 degrees Fahrenheit? Let us begin. The rate of change of the temperature with respect to time, as we know, is proportional to the difference between the temperature and the ambient temperature. So it's equal to K times T, which is a function of time, minus the ambient temperature, which is 70 degrees. It's given in the last line of the question. The room temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is our ambient temperature or the surrounding media. We know that at the beginning, the initial temperature is equal to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to use this information to build our model. Please note that this is a separable differential equation. Why is that? Because we can write it as dt over t minus 70, and on the right-hand side, it is k dt. Since it's the separable differential equation, you can easily take the integral of both sides. The integral on the left-hand side is ln of absolute value of the denominator, which is t minus 70. On the right-hand side, you have kt plus constant of integration. So let us use c sub 1 because eventually we end up with more coefficients and we need to combine them together. Based on the definition of ln, the absolute value of t minus 70 can be written as e to power kt plus c1. Since we have addition between exponents, you can separate them. The absolute value of t minus 70 is equal to e to power kt times e to power c1. Now let us get rid of the absolute value sign. t minus 70 becomes plus minus e to power c1 times e to power kt. Let us combine these together and call it C2. C2 is plus minus e to power C1. It's just a constant. It's just a number. So that's why we write it in a nicer form, C sub 2. So T, our mathematical model, is 70 plus C2 e to power kT. Now our goal is to find C2 and k from the question and build our mathematical model so we can answer the last part of this question. So, so far we know that when T is equal to zero, the temperature is 300. This is given in the question. And so far we have T, the temperature function as 70 plus C2 e to power kT. So 300 is 70 plus C2 e to power zero, which we, because T is equal to zero, so the multiplication is just zero. But e to power zero is equal to one. So 300 is 70 plus C2. So we can easily calculate C2, which is 300 minus 70 or 230. Perfect. So we found C2. T can be written as 70 plus 230 e to power kT. Now your goal is to find K.
Let's see what else do we have in the question. We know that after three minutes, the temperature drops to 200 degrees. We're gonna use this information and calculate K. So 200, which is the new temperature, is 70 plus 230 e to power 3K. T is three now. Okay, so 200 minus 70 is equal to 230 e to power 3K. Doing a little bit of algebra and simplification, e to power 3k becomes 13 divided by 23. So if you take ln of both sides, k becomes a third ln of 13 divided by 23, or it's negative point 190, 18. So we found k. We just need to plug it back into the formula here and write down our temperature function as 70 plus 230 e to the power negative 0 0.9018 t. So we end up with an exponential function and the exponential function has negative coefficient next to t. Very good. So let us go to the next page. We have our mathematical model. Let us try to graph this exponential function. T is the free variable on the horizontal line and the temperature depends on T. So if you graph this, you get a decreasing curve. You have a decreasing function. When T goes to infinity, this quantity becomes zero and the temperature approximate to 70. So basically, you have your horizontal asymptote here, which is the horizontal line t equals to 70. So it seems like as we go through the infinity, the temperature reaches to 70 degrees, right? But are you going to wait indefinitely to have a piece of cake? Of course not. So we're going to use the graph and actually make an approximation. Based on the graph, you can see that, okay, the cutoff is about 30 minutes or 28 minutes or something before 30. The graph approaches or getting closer and closer to T equals to 70 degrees. You can take a look at a nice table here as well. So at time 20.1, the temperature is 75 degrees. At 21.3, the temperature drops to 74 degrees. At 22.8, the temperature drops to 73 degrees. 24.9, 72 degrees. 28.6, 71 degrees. And then at 32.3, it is 70.5 degrees, which is very close to the temperature that we're looking for. It seems like around these two, you can start having a piece of cake and enjoy it.